Thanks for stopping by for a quick de-stressing session with me. I'm Angel. In case you don't know, now you know. And uh, as usual, I'm here to practice letting go of stress in my own body. Being a little playful, being a little silly, singing my life a little bit because that's the stuff I like to do. And uh, I invite you to join me to whatever degree feels good in your body. I encourage you to listen to and follow your own body the most. Uh, you're welcome, of course, to follow along with me to whatever degree feels right in your body. Uh, I'm just going to do a little, little wacky, wavy, inflatable arm tube woman impression to start. Loosen things up. Shake things about. Do a little spontaneous uh, breathing in and out. Little arm waving. I'm just going to uh, continue moving about a little bit, getting the blood flowing, kind of just listening to the body, tuning into the spine a little bit. And then I'm going to come to a little more stillness. Mm, take a nice deep breath and root myself into the center of the earth, bringing my attention into the bottoms of my feet and then connecting mentally with somewhere in the center of the earth. And then stretching through the spine up into somewhere in the center of the sky kind of enjoying the tension between the center of the earth and the center of the sky letting that line of tension support this body in an upright fashion <laughs> and uh, from there I was thinking about rolling down but I realized I don't have the camera well set up for that so let's try some small, medium, and large circles, and some, just some deep breathing with sound. I've been practicing some of that. Uh, let's start with small, since I said that first. Just coming into the hands and fingers and exploring some little circles here. Just noticing how the two sides are different. Let's go the other way, how they're the same, where there's any hitches in the giddy up, where there's flow and suppleness, where there's stuck up caught and stuckness, maybe something trying to tell me something. I'm gonna shake that out. I tend to carry a lot of tension and numbness and pain and, you know, in these hard working arms here through the neck and shoulders. I don't believe I'm alone in that. Shaking that out a little bit, so it's good to uh, check in regularly. Let's do some medium circles with the shoulders. I'm gonna breathe in on the way up. And exhale on the way down. Breathing in and ooh, and then breathing in. And breathing out with that, mm, just exploring that ah, uh, ooh, mm, sound resonance in the chest. Let's go the other way. Breathing in, coming up from the back, and then ah, uh, exhaling, and then breathing in, ooh. Breathing in and mm, noticing where those resonate differently as uh, generally the ah resonates down in here and the ooh resonates in through here and the mm, kind of comes up more into here. <clears throat> not 
loose a little congestion. Let's do some big circles. Ready? I'm going to come from the back forward this time. Ah, I tricked myself. Start in the middle. Let's do... Shaking that up, <laughs> uh, shaking that up literally. Let's try it the other way, breathing in and up. shake. I find sometimes when I'm doing uh, breath work and I haven't really prepared and stretched first, my body isn't quite up for moving that level of energy. I'm still getting past some, some deep inner wounding that I've been working on unraveling and uh, alchemizing and healing. And so uh, I get reminded in my own body that Sometimes alchemizing, like digesting, takes some amount of time. So it's important to give yourself time for just being, for processing the evolutionary stuff that's going on in all of us, for de-stressing, for decluttering, for maintenance in the body. Mm. I hope you're remembering to take time to love yourself a little bit more. Looking for my glasses. They're harder to find without the glasses. I found them. <laughs> uh, do believe that we are all interconnected. So the more that we each and all learn to love ourselves a little bit more, the more we all develop our capacity to co-create a more loving future. So I urge you to continue practicing because you're worth it, I'm worth it, we are worth it, this life is worth it. And uh, it's up to us to love ourselves, to love each other, to teach the next generation, how to love us and how to love themselves. I'm counting on you and you can count on me. And I thank you for letting me be me. And thank you for being you. Peace.